Right, today we're gonna bring a CNC router, a Vivor CNC router. If you guys can see it, we're gonna go, this is the actual power behind the whole cutting. Uh, it's a wood carver, so we're gonna use it today. Uh, you could use it to cut wood, plastic, and metal. Um, pretty much a lot of things that you could replace the, the head with, right? So we're gonna put it together and see how it works. Uh, this is pretty much how you get it out of the box is very heavy um you're going to require probably two people to lift this about 60 pounds all right so don't use your back make sure you lift properly when you're carrying this each piece is separated with foam well secure uh, the instructions are included it's not very difficult to put together um the main pieces are these two pieces that you got to concentrate first and the rest of it and then we'll do electronics so let's go ahead and put it together and see how it works all right, out of the box, they give you the tools that are going to require to put it together, and including a spare belt in case it gets ripped or broken, all right? Now, I like that they include everything together, ready to go out of the box. Let's take a look at a couple of steps that I, was a little difficult. So the cable itself is already embedded in here. So you got to make sure the foot step here is here and you grab it here and then you got to screw these. This is probably the hardest one just to screw the screws in here. And then the top, it has to grab on two more screws in here, if you guys can see. So the plate with the main line, which is going to connect to the actual system itself and the actual monitor, it goes around here. In, inserts in here you got to put two more screws in here you go all around and the last two screws in here and it tells you the way I found out now this one right here it tells you all these cables belong to this side you guys can see I'm gonna show you why they belong here because it says limited motor 2 and then this one says 2y which is 2y right here all right and the other side it says the other things so we do have our X everything's labeled well labeled um, but this is pretty much that's gonna go into the main system in there. So we're gonna run that after. All right, we got all these down already. We're plugging them in. We don't have a laser. We're not doing. We're doing spindle. We're not doing doing laser. So if you do have a laser, you could add it on here. So today we're not gonna do that. And we don't have the Z Pro yet connected because it's right here. And that's gonna be the last part we're gonna connect to. So so just to let you guys know, this part right here is where we're gonna have to link put the needle in there and we're going to set it up where we're going to have to plug this in it's a little difficult because you have to make sure you lift this up and the z motor um, you could do it manually now we got the needle in there you guys can see it make sure you do this tighten it up do it hand first if you can't do a tool for after right so just grab it right and twist it not too tight, but enough to where this thing is not going to fall. Right? So we're going to crank it up. Now, recommendation. If you're going to use a PC, you're going to use your USB, you, you can't connect this, all right? You need to take this off, all right? But today, we're not going to use it right now. We're going to use just the demo they came with. So we're going to set that up. Get the micro SD card. We can set it up in here. You guys can see it belongs in there, but... We're not going to set up yet. We're going to program it first. So let's crank it up. All right, we got it working. It didn't want to turn on, but you got to unlock it here on the stop sign. This is to shut it down completely. And we're going to test it out right now. We're just going to turn it on. We zero it in. You guys can see it. It's complete zero. You just hit the zero. It tells you exactly where the zero is at. So we're going to go to movement and we're going to spin it. Look at the spinner. You're able to control here the spinner. And we're able to turn it off too so we're not ready to spin yet so what we're gonna do now that we know that's zero all right for the z probe is simple i have it right here Just put it underneath make sure there's nothing around it put this in here grab the crocodile teeth in here or alligator whatever they call them put in there make sure you put the zero hit the zero and it's going to go down. It's going to go down to, to it touches. Once it touches, it raises itself up automatically. There it is. So it zeroed in already. So let's go ahead and the next step. All 
I finally figured it out. So there's a couple of ways you can do this and you just got to adjust it and line it up prior to using it. So I have a test sheet all the time that I mess with it before I even start cutting anything. But so far the machine's been working very well. It does some deep cuts. Um, the thickness of it is, it depends on what you set it up to be. So this machine works very well for first time users. It's it's easy to understand. It's just a little, a little complicated when it comes down to understanding this part so either you could use a card or actual PC so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start using more of the PC than the actual card itself so I could directly control more of the uh, status on it so we're gonna start using the PC instead of the actual card because we have more control of the needle and so forth the motor for example works well but if you get thicker material you might want to uh, replace maybe the the cutter itself not only that and down the future you could buy yourself your own motor and install it there too it doesn't have to be that particular motor itself but very simple easy to use i hope you guys enjoy the video 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel i hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful and i hope you hit the like and subscribe